Welcome to my presentation. I am Muhammad Mahasan Ali, a doctoral student in Department of Environment and Energy Engineering, Chunam National University, South Korea. My professor is Saki Philemon Young. He completed his MS and PhD in Pennsylvania State University, USA. My selected article is Overview of Recent Advancements in the Microbial Fuel Cell from Fundamentals to Applications, Design, Major Elements, and Scalability. The article is published Journal of Energies, MDPI in 2019 by Sammy G. F. Flimbin, et al. Let we see contents in this study. At the beginning we will see general informations about evolution of microbial fuel cells, then major components of microbial fuel cells. Next, we try to understand the electron transfer mechanism of microbial fuel cells. Then discussing the working principle of microbial fuel cells. After that, we try to explain different design and scalability of microbial fuel cells and their importance. Finally, we will summarize this study in conclusion section. Microbial fuel cell evolution, microbial fuel cells are a new technology for energy harvesting and wastewater treatment plant based on electricity generation from wastewater using microorganisms by bioelectrochemical process, the main breakthrough of evolution of microbial fuel cells listed in Table 1. Some of key points are, in 1791, the Italian physician and physicist Luigi Galvani, first observation the nature and effects of electricity in animal tissue. The term bioelectricity was coined after that observation. In 1893, physical chemist Friedrich Wilhelm Ostwald experimentally correlated between physical properties and chemical reactions. In 1910-1911, Professor Michael Cresspotter discovered the voltage generation and current delivery by microorganism using platinum electrodes and construct a basic microbial fuel cell. In 1966, scientist Williams, using rice husk as biofuels and produced 40 mA at 6 volts in a biological fuel cell, after many observations, a group of Korean scientists led by Kim, 1999. They find, bacteria species using no mediator molecules can transport electrons to electrodes. Beginning of the 21st century, too many devoted scientists try optimized various factors and real-time applications of microbial fuel cells. Next major components of microbial fuel cells, the components and setup of a microbial fuel cells are represented figure 1. Those are, anodic chamber, anaerobic conditions, cathodic chamber, aerobic conditions, a proton exchange membrane separating the two chambers, substrate for microorganisms metabolism, pure or mixed microorganisms for oxidizing substrate and formation of biofilm at electrodes. Electrical circuit for transferring electrons from the anode to the cathode electrodes, nitrogen gas to maintain an anaerobic condition in cathode chamber, oxygen or air to accept electron and electrons reducing agent. The anodic electron transfer mechanism of microbial fuel cells, microorganisms oxidized organic material, they pass the electrons to anode electrode in a microbial fuel cell and attach to anode electrode into two ways, one of indirect mechanism in indirect electron transfer mechanism in microbial fuel cells, microorganism have no electrochemically active protein for transferring electron to anode electrode. As a result, they need help some external agents called mediators. Due to the high cost, short lifetime and toxicity of these mediators, it's crucial to develop mediator-less microbial fuel cells. Another is direct electron transfer mechanism, direct electron transfer mechanism mediator-less microbial fuel cells, their electron transport relies mainly on metal-reducing bacteria instead of exogenous electron carriers. These metal-reducing bacteria can transport electron to anode through nanowire mechanism or biofilm formation. Figure 2 represent the anodic electron transfer mechanism of microbial fuel cells. Working principles of microbial fuel cells, figure 3 shows of working principle in a dual-chambered microbial fuel cells which is mainly consist of an oxidation reaction and a reduction reaction and generate electricity. First of all, 
The electrons released in anodic chamber after microbial oxidation of a substrate are transferred to the anode, then the electron leaves the anode and flow of electrons through the external circuit. This electron producing electricity before reaching the cathode, finally, in the case of an oxygen reduction reaction in cathodic chamber, these electrons react with protons and oxygen at the cathode, producing water as the final clean product. Next is design of microbial fuel cell section. Fuel cell design is critical for determining the success of a microbial fuel cells or microbial electrolysis cells. Till now, different types of reactors have been used such as cylindrical, cube-shaped, horseshoe-shaped, single-chamber and two-chamber, H-type, and stacked configured and made of glass or various types of plastic. Table 2 shows how the performance is affected by configuration. In stacked configuration, maximum power density observed, 50.9 watt per cubic meter. When both electrodes are granular activated carbon and sodium acetate using as a substrate. Microbial fuel cell reactors volumes ranging from microliters to thousands of liters. The single chamber microbial fuel cells, this type of microbial fuel cells configuration attracted researchers' attention due to several advantages such as lower internal resistance, simple operation, enhanced oxygen reduction rate on the cathode, enhanced proton diffusion, and reduced electrode spacing. Also requiring less frequent regular changing of oxidative media and aeration makes this configuration more adaptable, a metal organic framework with activated carbon cathode in a single chamber microbial fuel cell produced twofold greater maximum power density compared to activated carbon cathode or platinum cathode. The double chamber microbial fuel cells, as shown in figure 5 and 6, the double chamber microbial fuel cells usually consist of an anodic chamber and a cathodic chamber separated by a membrane. Different double chamber microbial fuel cells configurations are flat plate microbial fuel cells, figure 5A, generated 14 times more power production compares to bottle type or H configuration, figure 5B, whereas miniature microbial fuel cell, figure 5C, produced power only 10 mW per square meter. On the hand, proposed new microbial fuel cell named M2FC, figure 6, system yielded a power density over 20 times higher than the air cathode-based microbial fuel cell system. The major advantage of the double chamber microbial fuel cells over the single chamber microbial fuel cell is that the performance of the cathode can be improved by controlling pH, purging pure oxygen, increasing the flow rate, and adding electron mediators to the cathode leading to total enhancement of the microbial fuel cell's performance. Next is stacked microbial fuel cells section. A stacked microbial fuel cells are a type of configuration in which fuel cells form a fuel cell battery by being stacked on one another in a series or parallel connection. Such as horizontal stack double chambered microbial fuel cell, figure 7A to C, vertical stack double chambered microbial fuel cell, figure 7D to E, and stack with both serial and parallel connections microbial fuel cell, figure 7F. The type of electrode, stack direction, horizontal or vertical, shape of the reactor, connection method, and modulation all affect output efficiency, table 3. Based on polarization curves the maximum power density for six horizontally stacked microbial fuel cell units could be as high as 308 watt per cubic meter for series connections and 263 watt per cubic meter for parallel connections. The scalability of microbial fuel cell section. The microbial fuel cell scalability depends not only on how efficiently it uses fuel and its capacity but also on how much electrical power it can generate. The multiple miniaturized microbial fuel cell stacking would be followed for scale-up. A group of researchers developed a 200 liters modular microbial fuel cell stack, figure 8, which generated near about 200 milliwatt of power. This microbial fuel cell system was comprised of four microbial fuel cell modules containing 12 tubular microbial fuel cell units, 2 liters per unit. The 12 microbial fuel cell units were first connected in parallel, using external wires. Then, they connected the four microbial fuel cell modules in series. 
This system achieved a removal efficiency of greater than 75% for chemical oxygen demand, 90% for suspended solids, and 68% for ammonia nitrogen. Finally, conclusion section, from above discussion, it can be concluded that, this review highlights the history of the microbial fuel cells and progress in developing the concept of the microbial fuel cells, also, its major elements and their importance, besides these, the significance of microbial fuel cells designs and configurations which impact on overall performance, moreover, minimizing energy loss, example, over potential and voltage loss, while maximizing pollutants removal is vital in the scale-up of a microbial fuel cell system. The main goal of this review article is to address an issue of designing and scaling up with stacked microbial fuel cells. To give emphasis on multiplication and miniaturization of microbial fuel cell systems are essential to reduce energy loss for scaling up a microbial fuel cell. Thank you for watching.